Hello again, everybody. Uh, Baldwin Barnes with you with another Pastor's Corner. Uh, we get our word for today from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. I'm reading in the New Living Translation. It says, I appeal to you, dear brothers and sisters, by the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ, to live in harmony with each other. Let there be no divisions in the church rather be of one mind united in thought and purpose one mind united in thought and purpose live in harmony with one another and so our word for today is unity um, unity does not mean uniformity where we're exactly the same unity means that we're willing to align uh, in the same direction, uh, for the same purpose, uh, recognizing that we are one. We are brothers and sisters of one family. Uh, we have one Lord, one Father, one God, one Creator, one message, one love, um, which is biblical as well. Uh, and so as we go out into our life uh, this week, uh, let us be united in thought and purpose uh, 1 Corinthians 1 verse 10 New Living Translation that's what it says be united in thought and purpose have one mind and that one mind is a mind of unity uh, where we are together living in harmony living in peace with one another now I, I said that it's not uniformity. So how do we come together in our diversity, in our plurality, and still recognize our unity, our oneness? Um, well, it is to realize that we all agree on certain things, that Jesus is Lord, that Jesus is crucified, that Jesus is risen, that Jesus is coming again, and that as followers of Jesus, we live a particular way that demonstrates to the world that we are indeed his disciples, his children. So God bless you as you live in unity, demonstrate uni unity, manifest unity, and recognize the blessings of unity with each other. And as we do that, we will show to the world that we are indeed God's children because of the love that binds us together as one. In his name, more power to you. God bless you. See you next time. Bye-bye.